Hi, I'm Rachel Crow of Moon Times and rachelcrow.co.uk and I want to talk to you about periods. Now, it's taboo, people don't want to hear about it, especially the young women. I was sat in circle with some women over the summer and they were just like, we don't want to hear about our periods. Why do you want to talk to us about our periods? Why would we want to know about them? We're bored of it. It's like, Rachel, shut up, it's all you talk about. But it's part of our vital health. Our menstrual cycle reflects our vital health. So yeah, young people, they don't want to know about their temperature and they don't know, want to know about their blood pressure. They don't want to know about their periods. But women, girls, this is where we empower ourselves to take our health into our own hands. We're only just now finding out the effects the pill is having on women. It hasn't been out that long. Women haven't been taking it for that long. What I'm seeing in some of my circles with women who've been on the pill, the coil, the Mirena coil, the injection, the implant, horrendous menopause is what I'm seeing, horrendous. Not only are women being put on HRT, they're being put on Prozac. And interestingly, a report has just come out showing that when girls are put on the pill early, it affects their mental health. It can bring depression that lasts long after they come off the pill. So why do we want to know about periods? For me, when I was in my 20s, I wanted to know about them because I wanted to be in control of my fertility. I didn't want to take the pill. You know, I had a child at 17. I didn't want to have loads of children. Um, they put me on the mini pill, which made me sick. So I was breastfeeding, which made me sick. And I just was like, this doesn't feel right in my body. I had an innate knowing that my cycle was a natural part of me being a woman and that it was important that I didn't repress it and it was important that I listened to it. So, this is where we're at. We're at a point where, you know, we're suppressing our cycles with drugs that are having an effect on our bodies that will keep going for years afterwards. We have a crisis in fertility in women. What's that about? Our fertility is our health, our menstrual, a good menstrual cycle with no issues. No pain, no endometriosis, no flooding, you know, a normal light period that lasts three to five days that's regular is a sign of good health. If that's not what's happening for you, there's an imbalance in your body. Your body is trying to talk to you. Our menstrual cycle is a way of our body speaking to us. It's our body's language as a woman. It's how our body speaks and it's, I believe... It's my, my womb is my soul speaking. We have to listen. We have to listen. And if we're going to be women who change the world, because we have to, look at the state it's in, part of changing the world has to be healing ourselves and being in touch with our menstrual cycle, being in touch with our periods. So, join me, join my Love Your Period online teaching and learn some really easy, simple tools to support your body with health, to support you to really listen, to learn about your fertility. You know, we, we're only fertile for a few days in the month. Why take a drug all the time? just because we don't want to get pregnant for those few days in a month. Like I said, we're only just seeing the effects that these drugs are having on, have had on women for years. You know, girls are being put on the pill earlier and earlier these days because any menstrual issues seem to be prescribed the pill. Just prescribe the pill. I mean, even women I'm seeing in menopause, I go to the doctor with flooding and the doctor's just like, just take the pill, that will sort it out. It won't sort it out. It's not a long-term answer. 
You know, we know that the pill and HRT and these hormonal drugs are also connected with cancer. And my mother was actually told when she went on the pill, she was she went on the pill not long before she had me, ironically, and she was told taking the pill could cause cancer in your children. So not just in you, but what you're passing on down the future lines, the future generations. And isn't it ironic that, you know, actually my mum went on the pill to not get pregnant with me. She still got pregnant with me because she didn't take her pill properly. And she continued to take the pill while she was pregnant because she was in denial about her pregnancy. And I'm the child that got cancer. Who's to say if it's linked or not? But I certainly have a Im hormonal imbalance that I'm working with, partly to do with perimenopause, possibly, partly to do with stress. All these things affect our hormones. Life affects our hormones, stress affects our hormones, foods affect our hormones. So come on this journey with me, learn to balance your body, learn to love your period, step into your full force as a divine goddess that bleeds, that births if she wants to, that has milk coming from her breasts if she wants to. We have this body that is meant to create, whether it's life or whether it's other things, but our cycle supports us in that creative process. So if we can really drop into it, learn about it. We can heal on so many levels. We can create on so many levels. It supports us in life. Who wouldn't want that? So doors open on the 30th of September. I'd love to have you with me. Follow my blog. There's loads of info on there about hormones, cycle charting, all that kind of stuff www.moontimes.co.uk forward slash blog um, and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for listening to my rant.